Good evening. In this tutorial, I'll be going over Olivia Wilde's character in the movie The Lazarus Effect. Of course, I can't exactly give away like too much of the movie, but obviously, this whole makeup was inspired from the movie itself. Also, don't forget to follow me on other social media, which will be listed in the description below, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm also gonna gather like the social media and stuff for the movie, so if you guys wanna find that, you can find that below as well. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to contact me. I'm starting off by giving myself defined high arched brows like Olivia Wilde. Going right into the burns, I'm using alcohol-based paint and painting on a coral color first. And for all the alcohol applications, I'm using a sponge with the holes torn out of it to give it some texture. Then dabbing on an alcohol-based paint that's more close to my skin tone to break it up. As well as adding in a little bit of blood tone for the veining. For the burning skin itself, I'm using a skin safe silicone. Silicone sets up really fast, so you have to work with it really fast. And I'm just applying it in the basic shape of the burn that I want, as well as going in with some different shape holes and then blending it into my skin. Skin safe silicone is really easy to work with, you just have to move fast. There are actually multiple different ways that you can create these burns. You can use liquid latex and tissue, or you could also use gelatin. If you're gonna be using liquid latex and tissue, you would lay down a layer of the liquid latex, then put some tissue over it, kind of crumple it up, and put another layer of the latex over that. If you're using the gelatin, that's a product that you have to heat up, so make sure you don't like burn yourself, even though you're making burns, fake burns, and you'd apply that pretty similar to the silicone. While that's setting up, I'm also applying the base of the burns on the other areas of my face. Once again, dabbing down with a sponge a coral color alcohol-based paint, then breaking it up with a color closer to my skin tone, and adding a little bit of that blood tone in there as well. Just like the one on her forehead, I'm using Skin Safe Silicone, applying that in the shape that I want it, and then just smoothing it into my skin. You'll know the silicone is set when you're able to fully touch it. It hardens, so if it's still sticky, let that set a little bit more. While my other cheek is still setting, I'm going in and powdering this. I want to take some of the shine away, but not like totally because you know it is like a fresh burn. Probably gonna be a little gooey. And I think anybody's favorite part of making a fake wound is adding the blood. I'm using an alcohol-based blood tone paint to fill in all of the holes within the burn. The more alcohol you mix within the paint, the more translucent the paint's going to be. You don't want it to be super opaque where it looks like it is just bleh on. Personally, I like a darker type blood, so I'm also going in with more of an aged blood alcohol-based paint and filling in the edges of the wounds. How dark you want it is really based on preference. To get some irritation around the burns, I'm also going in with a very light blush and just blending that out. In the film, she is like super charred. I'm using a fluffy brush and black powder to just go in and line certain areas to make them look really charred. She also starts to get a little bit crazy. And to go with her craziness, she has crazy capillaries. I'm using the same blood tone paint and a detail brush to go ahead and draw those crazy capillaries coming from all of the burns. For around my eyes, I went in with a cream-based makeup and mixed red and black together to get more of that blood-type tone. And once again, drew those capillaries extending out and around my eyes. I'm then leaving that for a little bit because I had to put my scleras in and I really don't want to put those in while I am working. As the scene progresses, she gets this really intense burn on her chest. So I wanted to add that in there as well, doing the same steps that I did for my face. And you're gonna have a little time for that to set, so. Now since the movie doesn't come out until the 27th, leave a comment below if you think that this scene is a dream, real life, or something else. I then put my scleras in and use an angled brush and black eyeshadow to just go around my eyes very lightly. Just to also add to that char a little bit around her eyes. Any capillaries that I saw to be missing, I added those in as well.
And just for fun, I used my alcohol-based paint and made a very tiny hole on the side of my head. You guys can see why in the film. <laughs> 